and we're back with another episode of the Morning Wish Show. I am one of your hosts, Richie Sky, and this is the very hot Demar Marie yes. Bouvier. <laughs> it is extremely humid on the set today. Exactly. But that's okay because you know I got not too much in this mouth. What? It is. It's extremely humid. <laughs> you just said you felt like you were in the bottom. I know. I feel like my cleavage is sweating and things. Yes, welcome back to the Morning Wish Show. We've been gone for a little while. But we're back with the jump off. We're back, but we've been gone working on some amazing things, some exciting things, some new things. Mm -hmm. um, but right now, we're going to talk about what you like for us to talk about, and that's celebrity news, celebrity gossip, mm -hmm. and oh. anything we feel like making up. Oh, but first, we got to just say that we're going to be in South Carolina this coming weekend, June 20th. We will be hosting an event. Yes. Very, very excited. Let me go into more details. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are headed to Columbia, South Carolina to help them celebrate Black Pride. We will be hosting at the Expo on Saturday. I think it starts at 2. So we will be on the main stage. So you, if you are in South Carolina or anywhere surrounding there within an hour, you can drive. We're driving from D.C. You can drive to come and see us. So we're excited about that. We're excited um, to be a part of the Pride festivities for another city. Um, because it's, oh, Speaking of that. Yes. The following weekend, we will be in New York City, New York riding City. on top of the GMAT float in the Pride Parade. I think that's on Sunday, June 30th. So if you're in the NYC area, I will be DJing. He will be shaking his pom -poms. I will be on the float getting <laughs> um, I think uh, Damian Crawford will be performing on the float as well. So it's just going to be a great time. You're going to perform on the float? I think so. Um, I'm going to be a backup dancer. Thank you to GMAD. Damian, you just got yourself a new backup dancer. <laughs> thank you to GMAD and the folks at YPS for, you know, ushering that in and making that all happen for us. So right. we're extremely grateful. And after that, we will be heading back down 95 South, 85. 85, 95, 85, we gotta get to 95 <laughs> to get to 85. We're going to Charlotte, North Carolina. We will be taking part in some festivities with Lou. Um, if you don't know Lou, Lou is the hottest promoter, party promoter in Charlotte. So we don't have all the details, but we will be helping him celebrate um, Pride in Charlotte. So once we get more information, we'll let you know. Um, we wanna see you everywhere we go. Oh, and then right after that, will be at the Alsura All White Attire Affair. I will be emceeing, he will be there again shaking his. Shaking my pom pom. So <laughs> definitely check out the Alsura website. I think it's alsura.org. And make sure that you get your t-shirt and get your tickets for the event. Right, so Boom. we are busy. I'm tired, I don't wanna talk about anything. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna talk about anything else. I'm, I'm done, just talking about that. Just thinking about that. But anyway, moving right along with celebrity news with baby news, oh baby. <laughs> Congratulations to, speaking of baby, my baby barks in the back. Boom. Boom. Coco, shout out to Coco in the back. Tamar and Vince, they have a brand new baby boy. Boy. His name is Logan Herbert. No. Lo Logan yeah. Vincent Herbert. It's still Logan Herbert. Whatever. I just, you know what I'm saying. Just that. Uh, so congratulations to them. We got a baby boy that is so exciting. Congratulations to y'all. Congratulations. Um, Kim and Kanye just delivered a baby girl. Congratulations to y'all. And we don't know her name at this point, but you want to give her one? KK. KK? KK. Her name is KK. <laughs> but congrats to both of them. Oh, Kanye will have another baby out on stores tomorrow, or Tuesday, June 18th. That will be Jesus. Why every time we say baby Coco Bar? I don't know, because he knows what he's she. talking about. She. Well, she knows what he's talking about. Okay. Anyway, and also in more baby news, Halle Berry announced that she's pregnant. She's carrying a baby boy with her fiance. Um, so y'all were busy this winter. Mm -hmm. So last fall, busy, 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 getting busy. It was cold and y'all cuddled up. I ain't mad at you. I cuddled up too, but fortunately, I blame Sandy. It was I Sandy. Sand, Hurricane Sandy. <laughs> Everybody got busy doing Sandy. I think people were trying to be safe doing Sandy. And they were getting well, busy about everything being safe. Obviously. Anyway, <laughs> move right along. Congratulations to Serena Williams. I guess we can call her Trophy a baby. Mm -hmm. She won the French Open, and Beyonce sent her, well, she posted a handwritten note saying, congratulations, you know, you're in your prime, and you're doing it, you're an inspiration to all of us. So that was really good. It's good when celebrities can congratulate one another. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to see that. And not to bring race into it, but I do, I love it when, you know, us as African Americans can have people that we can look up to. Right. And aspire to be like, so right. I think that's amazing. Because there's right. so many people that we don't want to be like. And we won't get it to call it names because we're such a positive duo. We are. We, are we like very to keep positive. it positive and, and yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Paris Jackson um, 
It was reported that she attempted suicide, I think it was last week. Um, Paris is Michael Jackson's daughter. Um, that's so unfortunate though. I can understand, I can, you know, understand what she's probably going through because it's a lot going on in that family and trying to keep his legacy alive, battling with their estate, and people are coming back saying he molested them. And you know what though, you never know again, we, I think we talked about this a couple of days ago, you never know what's going on in a person's life or in their head and what they've right. gone through and what they've seen. I can only imagine the stress that she must feel as a 15 year old. Right. You know, growing up in that family. Because it primarily was, was with Michael, most like 99% yeah. of the time. Yeah. So now I guess it does kind of feel like he left me here, I'm alone. Right. I mean, she's still a child. And I mm -hmm. think people are sensitive to the fact that she's still a child. And But um, we just wish her the best and we wish the Jackson family the best in trying to help those kids cope. Yeah. Um, in the real world because they're they're in the real world now. They're not, you know, he used to have them in masks and, and blankets and, and stuff. He did. He had them covered in sheets at times. He did. I mean, I understand that, you know, he... Listen, the man had a lot to be in. Chad Ochocinco <laughs> was just released from jail after serving seven days in jail. He was supposed to serve 30 days in jail because he slapped his attorney on the booty in the courtroom and the judge was not having it that day. She, and she, like, no, no. she took him down no, to the block up. I mean, I feel like it was just. I feel like you can't um, be disrespectful. My iPad just died. It just died. <laughs> well, I mean, do we think that it was really disrespectful, or do we think that that was just his way of kind of like you know? I think I that think it's, a, it's really a sports thing, actually. But you're not on the field. You're not, you're on, not the court, on the field. You're not but in the locker room. I think There's the, the question. Room. The question is of intent at that point. Is it is it ignorance or is it is it was that his intent to be disrespectful? You know what I'm saying? Or was it just ignorance of this is where I am and this is how I should be acting? Because you know you gotta remember these are these are ball players and sometimes you know they're put on this pedestal and they can do a lot of things that a lot of us can't. And so it kind of gets ingrained in their head that I can do whatever I want. So it kind of falls under the level of in ignorance a little bit to me. He was sentenced to 30 days in jail, he but he's out again. Seven. But now. he's served seven. So anyway, my iPad just died. Boom. So. We're gonna go off the top of our heads. Mm -hmm. So, in music news, um, Chrisette Michelle just dropped her new CD. Which, I gotta tell y'all, have, have you heard it? I, I, of course. For, to me, it's amazing. I love that the CD, the album is just banging. Like, I right. mean, it's it reminds not- reminds me of her first album. You, to me, it's like, I would have expected, I mean, I hear Chrisette Michelle sometimes, and then I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, it's gonna be kind of like slow. But it's really, it's a good album. It's very, right. it's very like, solid. Yeah, it's, very it has a lot of variety yeah. in terms of the sounds. It, it gives you a lot of hip hop influences, but also a lot of, you know, r and I, I love her. Right, right, and I can hear her voice. Yeah. I think uh, she released a couple albums after her first album, and I was really still thirsty to hear her voice. It was a lot of beats and things, and it, it was drowning out her voice. So I appreciate this album because I can hear her voice again. And the CD is it. called Better. It's called Better. Um, Kelly Rowland is coming out this week, mm -hmm. iTunes Tuesday, New Music Tuesday, and it's called Talk A Good Game. Yes, I have heard the album. How do you think it's going to do? Um, you know, because it's Kelly, I want her to win. Absolutely, we want Kelly um, to win. I think her last album was better to me, just because okay. I feel like it's more, um, it was a bit more up-tempo, but you know, that's what you I You know, like. I love a sad um, love song. And you get a lot, you want not sad love not song, sad, but it's but just, just very... Very much ingrained in R&B, um, not a lot of up-tempo, up-tempo stuff. My favorite song on the track, on the CD, is, is Gone with Wiz Khalifa. That song is okay. amazing. I, she performed that on one yeah, of the It was shows. really, really good. I okay. love that song. Also, um, she has a remix coming out to Dirty Laundry with R. Kelly. Yeah. yeah. I haven't heard that one yet. Okay. I guess we forgot all about R. Kelly's past, but that's all right. Yeah, I went back to Chick-fil-A. Y'all still listening to R. Kelly. Same thing. Yeah. Who else is coming out? Um, Kanye. Kanye, yes. yes. I have heard that as well. It's actually, it's very, very different. Like, I mean, if you're a hip-hop enthusiast, it's not you're, you're a boom cack, you're a boom pap type, you know, hip-hop. It's actually, like, very, very progressive. So, if you're looking for something new, you're looking for something intriguing, definitely it's a good album to get. Okay. Jay-Z made a big announcement. <sighs> Jay-Z is partnering with Samsung to release his new album, Magna Carta, Holy Grail, on July 4th. I'm so excited He's about that. He's such a great businessman. Listen, I I am the quintessential Jay-Z fan. I think he's amazing. <laughs> and I know that the, the commercial that they released during, uh, I think, yesterday's game was absolutely phenomenal. It's like a three-minute commercial. Okay. And he's basically talking about rewriting the rules for releasing music. And I think that's just amazing, what he's doing. And I think the album is going to be awesome. 
That's good. Mm-hmm. That is good. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Is Sierra's album coming out or she's going to keep releasing um, singles like she Sierra's always? album, I think, um, is due out in yeah. July, if I'm correct. I'm not sure about the date yet. Um, I know that there were a couple of dates floating around, but I love There's that. always album. dates floating around with Listen, Sierra. listen, that's what, No, that's why I don't, get, I don't get excited about Sierra's music. Like, everybody's like, oh, body party. Oh, da, da. I don't get excited about her music. She does. I will say, though, she does have a I history of being a little bit. You know, um, and it may not be her fault. Long-winded with releasing singles and then not an album like a year later. But I really do think that uh, this album is going to be good because I you like the song with Nicki Minaj, right? I like the song Nicki Minaj has featuring Sierra. She totally took that song from Sierra. Well, yeah. I don't even remember what Sierra says in the entire song. The song is called "I'm Out." Definitely go check it out. I think it's it may be on iTunes already, but you can also listen to it on YouTube or we'll post it on our page. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll post it on the page. Um, there's something else that we probably should talk about in music, but I can't think about it right now. Well, if it comes back to us, we'll come back to it. We right now, we can go into reality roundup. Reality roundup, his favorite segment of the show, my least favorite segment, but you know, I always which have is so interesting to, say. to me. It's so interesting. You to say this every time. Go ahead. Okay, I'm not gonna say. It's so interesting that I don't like reality TV, but you're on a reality, reality television show. show. Boom, and, and there you have it. Right. <laughs> anyway, so let's start off with R&B Divas. Okay. Atlanta. There has been a petition going around and they want Nikki Gilbert removed from the show. Uh, but Nikki says she is being edited unfairly. And I don't, I don't understand that if you're an executive producer, you're being edited unfairly. Well, should you fire somebody? However, it's just kind of like with Shawnee as an executive producer for Basketball Wives. Be, just because you're an executive producer doesn't mean that you have the power to edit the show the way you want it to be edited. Okay. Nikki's problem is you have set yourself up to look bad because of the, what you participated in on the show. You are characterized by your character. Preach! I mean, I think that's that's the bottom line. You come I'm off on the show this week. Honestly, you kind of you come off on the show honestly a little bit like a bitch. Sorry. Right. And this, um, this beef she has with Selena is just so petty. It is petty and because it's now so, it's not the, a good look. The big thing is she's trying to put together this reunion, this brownstone reunion. Okay. But it's with kind the original of masked, girls or with the, the original, girl, the original I girls. I think the original girls. But it's okay. it's masked under the guise of this charity event that's not because the charity's not but the charity's not really established yet. Oh, um, so you know, a lot of the girls had you know some issues with it. And Angie, being the woman that she is, I gotta respect Angie Stone. She went and sat just like I'm sitting next to you, okay, and called her out on it, woman to woman. And it went, it went down, and Angie went off. She went off. So I mean, Nikki Gilbert, if they have to say bye to you, bye. Mm. Speaking of sitting down, Richie Scott made a guest appearance on City Boys. That's all we'll say. When it comes out, you'll see it. Find out what we talked about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, there's a new reality show that's being shopped around about women in D.C. Um, they feel as though it was a fail with the Bravo Real Housewives of D.C. And I feel it was a fail. It was poorly cast. None of those girls lived in D.C. I'm not even going to lie to you because um, as we do this show, one of my goals for myself has always been to become the Black Andy Cohen. Okay. And one of my one of my dreams and my visions has always been to redo the cast of or the show, The Real Housewives of DC. So it's very interesting that she's kind of taken that right. that road because I think it was a market that was left open. Because I do feel that DC has a lot of potential for a great reality show. And who is she? She's married to one of the NBA she, players. Uh, I can't remember his name, but she is married to an NBA player. She was previously engaged to the game. If that's if, okay. if that's correct. Um, and Terrence J. And Terrence Jack, so she, you know, she's has, been busy. You know, <laughs> she's been busy. Lots of people have been, you know, together and engaged and all that other okay. stuff. So, well, but, we're gonna um, see what happens with that. And I, I wasn't gonna talk about this because, but I'm gonna say that tonight on Verizon, I don't know what channel is coming on. I don't know if it's everywhere, but there's a show called The Real Baby Mamas of Richmond. Yeah, Richmond, Virginia. Yes, Richmond, Virginia. I'm not going to talk bad about the show. Um, is this a real show? Is it a YouTube show? Or it's is a it? YouTube show, but you know you can do public access TV. Okay. And it's coming on public access TV. A couple of the girls went to high school. Went to high school with like maybe three or four of the girls. I saw a trailer. Um, How did the trailer look? Um, black trailer. Ooh, shade. So, if you catch it, we can talk about it. I wasn't going to say anything about it because you know I'm, tr- I'm trying to knock someone's hustle. But, you can set yourself up. For failure, and I think this is a setup. It's a setup, and y'all don't even know that it's a setup. So that's all I say. 
Anything else? Interesting. Oh, you know what you should talk about? <laughs> what should really? I talk about? You're doing a relationship slash dating oh. seminar presentation. Discussion. Yes, I will be in New York City my birthday weekend. Uh, my birthday is August the 8th. I'll be in New York City the 9th through the 11th. I'll be there with YPS, their East Region Confer East Regional Conference. And I will also be on the panel um, to have a panel discussion. And I will be hosting my very own workshop, Relationships and Dating 101. Now, you all know that I'm very experienced in relationships and dating, and I have a lot to say. So I'm excited to put that together. The youth are between the ages of 18 to 25. So I'm really humbled to be um, somebody that can give them some information and help them get some foundation on um, dating and relationships. Have you thought about what you're gonna talk about? I think about it all the time. I think about it all the time. So I just hope that I can you know, do something that someone can take away from the conference and just be better in this community and love somebody better, but first of all, love themselves better. So we're all right now. Hmm. I think that's all we got. That is all we have today for the Morning Wood Show. Thank you guys for tuning in to us and watching us sweat a little bit and drink a little bit, talk to you a little bit, and love you a little bit. All right? Yes. I am one of your hosts, Richie Scott, and this is... I am the internationally fabulous Demar Marie Spoulier. And this is the Morning Wood Show. Peace. Peace. That's a wrap. Well, my iPad was a long time ago. <laughs> well, I was trying to, but I didn't want you to... Oh. Yeah. That didn't record. You're lying to me. As I 